Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, power armor and vault people, and welcome to Gustav Making Stuff. And I know that many of you have already ordered this and one of these. And if you have not get through with the order, I can leave a link to how to build one yourself. But anyway, let's now show how to build or how I build this Pipar 2000 from Fallout 76. So we're starting here by this thorn cord that you need and this is also a bucket with the chloroform, uh, not chloroform, but you know, um, uh, chloride. Anyway, this is my print that I had a half finished version of it and it's just sliced the whole thing. I will leave a description to it, so why not use a half finished working print thing. See, it did absolutely quite messed it up. So, but anyway, we will work with what we have now. So we have a camera uh, lens here from a old webcam and also some different uh, parts of you know uh, soda bottles and stuff like that from other household stuff so you can see how you can put them together to create what they will look like you will take what you have basically now there's also this little button here you can also buy this kind of button itself this is a metal net that I had that I'm gonna use now for nothing here is the uh, 3d printed part that came out quite uh, badly because it actually the top was missing so I had to fill that in and sand it well so now we're gonna measure this little uh, part here to see how thick plastic um, pipe we will stick through the whole thing because there is kind of a pipe going through the whole thing here so now thanks to uh, power tools uh, that will help my because I still have back pains but they are better now so don't worry about it Anyway, so now we're actually going to saw the whole thing here to place the tube inside it. I used the Dremel tool instead for that because my back couldn't make it. Now anyway, let's peel off this little uh, chloride bucket here so it will look like this. And now we're going to start to make all the little details on the things. This is also a food related uh, item here. Uh, so now we have to that, put that and we are going to cut out a little bit of uh, is it a radiation dial? I think maybe it is. Maybe it's the ra radio or something. Anyway, but it has two things there. So now we are going to cut that out. This is why the radio part because it's the lower one. Yeah, anyway, it has a little speaker on it, so it probably is that one. So anyway, when we have cut that thing out and clean it up, and it will be very fantastic indeed. We are also going to take this little um, part here. It's actually from a Star Wars spaceship. But uh, anyway, it will work absolutely fine for having to look like a, a spe little spe speaker. So now we're just going to glue all these little parts together. And also drill the little holes for the little rivets that are on the side there. And don't worry about my table, I know. So you see, there we go. Now we have that. And also we got now placed in the little... This is the lower box by the two of them. So this is going to be fitted there and then going to be glued in place like that and now this is a knob here that looks like the uh, the, the creative uh, camera thing but this is actually a little smaller one because they're actually doing it. this size of this uh, specific 3d file might be different due to the later version because we don't know how big it is unless you have been to e3 and actually touched one of these things Anyway, so now we're just going to put them through there and glue them. And also filled up with a little bit of a foam there so it will have a little bit of support, this little button there. And now we're going to put in the little bit of metal net here thing. Also, when you think about 3D printing, you can actually order 3D printed parts from a certain website. They just, you just upload a website and you select things and you will get them sent home to you. By the way, so now we have it there, and now we're going to actually uh, put it in place and see. So the, the two little lamps, because I don't have vacuum tubes in that size, so we will take a little bit of an old 
uh, mishmashed lamps that I just had lying around because they look quite similar at first glance, which is very, very good indeed. And then we're going to take the little bit of a part of the net and just glue it on there. Uh, the glue gun works very well for PLA plastic on here, so it will be fantastic if you also want to try to build this thing. Also a little bit more glue because it wasn't glued enough. Now we have the upper part here which I also have drilled holes in so they can just fit through there. And it will be aligned quite well. Um, when you printing this you actually want to cut the half diagonally so it will come out hollow which is a very good thing for this thing but that's a very technical part of the whole thing. You can also cut it up by yourself also. But anyway, now you see oh, we're gonna make this uh, little part there that looks almost like the part under it and we're going to glue some paper down under it because we're gonna paint tiles on it. But then again, now this is the little box when I actually have connected little wires to so we are going to prepare it here. Now, we're also gonna make the little other knob thing you see here. I just made another one. This is actually a food uh, thing and this is, a, this is actually a, a lid from a le uh, eye lenses and uh, the other one is from some kind of ice cream thing. This is for the side part uh, due to it's uh, rounded already but I had to round it off a little bit extra because it was too long. It was going to paste on to the glue sorry on the little side here. So there we go and now we're going to drill in. They are actually having two um, bolts there for some reason, but I think they will work good. So now you see, uh, this actually starts to look. See, uh, so we now we have all the little details and the little side part there too, and it can be then be bolted to the main body. Here is the cassette deck with these little straps, uh, uh, sorry, angle things, which I have now put on with some just drill some and put some screws in it. And now we have the strap mount here in the back, at least what it's called in the in the STL file. But uh, that is, this hold the straps and some other things that are science of science. So now you see we have the little bit of yarl here which we are going to slide on this tube here and cut it on so it will have, you know, properly. Now we have fake leather here which I do prefer to use instead of real leather because I can store it in my barn without it catching mold because that is very bad when it does that. So now we're going to take some craft foam here and we are going to glue that onto the uh, thing there and now we're going to take this jewelry box and sand it down and paint it also. So now we're going to paint this in this very very brownish uh, color which is very much of a let's say fall out the color by this uh, point here now but I don't really know it looks pleasant but it's not a very good camouflage or anything it's just utility brown I would say I think there are probably some kind of lore behind the colors of this thing in the fallout wiki which I have not read off on so anyway we are just going to paint this in like one or two layers depends on how it's going to you know look. So it depends on how much you have sanded your 3D print. So now we are going to put all the little parts are going to be painted first black here so they will then later be painted metal. So also we're going to make a little bit of lighter gray color to this screen cover uh, thingy here which I forgot to mention but yes I did glue it to the... So now we have uh, metal color here which we can just uh, put on as much as we want to depending on what kind of metal look we want to. Uh, I just like when they are do look a little bit plasticky but plastic is a very very difficult to do with without it look like it's completely painted. But anyway it do looks nice. Now we're gonna paint this thing white here because it's only gonna be yellow but it's very difficult to paint yellow onto black so that's why you have to paint white first onto it. So now you see it getting more and more yellow which we probably have to do a couple of times with because yellow is not a very um, 
good color. That's why I have saved these things here to actually just glued on yellow craft room parts and then glue and then sorry paint on the little black things here because they are warning you that the cassette might be awesome. It might be the cassette from Guardians of the Galaxy or something like that. So now let's start to make a little bit of a shadowing and stuff to this little pip boy here because it will makes it looks very good indeed. And now my cat has come here. Could you please be quiet, cat, because you're interrupting my recordings here. Please, shut up. Yes. Um, now we are going to put on the bottoms back here. And we are uh, then going to paint them a little bit black also. Because they, they look too clean otherwise. So now you see when everything is going to be slided in together there. I'm also going to take a little bit of a... A screw and put it on the back side here. Please be quiet cat. No, don't jump up here. Um, sorry about that. Uh, now uh, we are going to paint this uh, buckle uh, metal colored here. So it will look nice. And now we're gonna actually, play. this is the same uh, color of uh, fake leather I have. It's just the back side of it. So we have a little bit of a fabric part on it. And you see you're just using the glue gun there so it will look fantastic indeed even though i think they just gonna have a different leather things going on in the actual game so now we are going to take a little bit of a black wash to all of this so it will look more fallouty and gold now you see here we have the cables which i'm just going to screw into the little radio active box thingy upstairs uh, and now all of them you see it looks absolutely gorgeous indeed and do draw on some little details on the dials here so we will see that radiation will kill you sooner or later and now the final interesting part here it is the cord indeed we need the old phone cord for some reason but now it is put on there and it looks beautiful indeed and it looks beautiful <coughs> so now you know how to build one it's not an exact uh, replica in any ways but it was I could make from the things I could find and things I could print so I hope you find this interesting and uh, see you in the next one